All right, so, uh, GZ Doom updated. So, my save file broke. So, that sucks. Um, so I'm starting over. I usually plan hurt me plenty, but maybe, just maybe, since this is special overnight edition, we'll do UV for once. Anyway, this is Eternal Doom, which has some kind of history that I'm sort of familiar with. Not very. Uh, it was made by Team TNT in the 90s. It's awesome. Holy crap, they're not fucking around in UV though. Hang on, I can't talk and shoot at the same time. Anyway, so I'm, I'm very mad that they decided to call Doom 5 Doom Eternal when this already exists and is like 20 years old. I think this was, uh, this is all vanilla too. What? I should have looked up some sort of information so I'd have something to say, but I'm guessing this is 90 something. Six? Seven? Hang on, the credits? I don't remember the credits key. Anyway, it's, uh, some kind of time travel plot. And there's demons. So that's that's all good. I started playing this once before and I got a bit lost on a few maps. Oh that looks breakable. It is. Guess let's overwrite my old save. Hmm. Maybe when I have more bullets. Fewer bullets. Anyway, this was done by the, the people who brought us Team TNT and the Boom Engine, which started out uh, all of Doom modding. And I don't know, I think it's good. I think it needs more shells. shells in here? No. Oh, is this radiation or something? Awesome. Holy crap. Well. Let's look for some gun. I mean, you can kind of already see uh, where this is going to be going, just because all of these hallways look identical. This is map one, and I think I got lost in it when I started playing this before. Also, they just added some goofy-ass sounds. Probably lowers the lift, huh? I do remember this. I don't know why they reskinned the imps slightly. They just made them darker and drew their own uh, fireball. And that is glass, but doesn't block shots. Interesting. Crap, I need that blue key.
Yeah, sorry for not keeping exactly 69 health the whole game. That can be... That can be an optional challenge later. Is there a chainsaw somewhere I'm supposed to have? Because... There's a... There's a lot of boys. And not a lot of gun. Here's some gun. Hmm. Yeah, like, I don't know, beautiful textures and cool lighting effects, and I have no idea where the hell I am. Oh! Are these? No. I guess it just bit me. Wasn't there a armor in here or something? Guess not. Also, ah. Oh, well, I guess my custom mugshot doesn't work quite so well with their custom status bar. So we'll just stay full screen. Where the hell was the blue key? <laughs> this is gonna be the whole game, by the way. Just just this 32 times. No, it's across from this. Jesus. Well, what was the point of that? Oh, I should get the invulnerability and come in here, huh? Yeah. That'd be that'd be smart. But I bet getting the invulnerability will release a bunch of stuff. But that's okay. I'll just run real fast. Nope. Nope. Get away. Don't have time. This lasts, what, 30 seconds? <laughs> Is that everybody? Okay. Now I need to go back and find that supply room with the lift. Which was somewhere. Let's see. Start, yeah. I'm guessing it's this way. an ammo curve. Oh yeah, this is cute. They just they just did a lot of little tiny trickery in this whole set. Oh come on. Oh, 
Excellent. God damn it. Gun. Thank you. Oh. Well, that's nice. There's a lot of not quite linearity in this map. I love that they say he's over there. And I walk directly into them. Also, I love the switch sound. I don't know if that's custom or taken from something. Actually, I don't I don't really know what in this whole set is custom or taken from something. Um what did that do? So of course, in, in Bay 1, there was a button that would lower a crate to reveal the key that they put behind it. I love Doom architecture. I love this railing too. Very nice. I feel like this is about to get medieval or something, um, but clearly we're in like a space base right now, and it makes me wonder a lot what what the plot of this is. Okay. Something just open. Oh. Some power ups I don't need. This is so weird. It looks so much like it was going to be a trap, but then I get to open each of these things individually. And they all have a reward for shooting one Cacodemon. Uh, okay. Basically done. Just have to find the exit. So it's a good sign, Revenants on map one. And that's everything. All right, 12 minutes times 30. So we should be done in six hours. Pearl. Pearl. 
Pearl. Cute. Pearl said hello. Okay, well, there's some invisible floor bridge. I would love a backpack. Ow, crap. Where did these all come from? Oh, okay. See ya. Oh, this isn't poison. Good. I really like how Cacodemons, like, awkwardly accelerate downwards at you. Like, I'm pretty sure their uh, horizontal and vertical movement are completely independent. Kind of the strafe running bug, but for the z-axis. This is a weird shape thing. What else is down here? Hey, Pearl. Whoops, may have wasted that. Now, is this actually a bridge or a hole? Nope, it's a bridge. I feel cheated that I can't shoot this stained glass. Oh, this is ominous. I actually expected that to be much worse. Okay. So far, it does seem like they enjoy putting... Okay, that's... Uh, like they enjoy putting a door right next to a key, but of a different color. Can I shoot? Okay. It's really weird to have the second map already be like a big thing over a pit. I do like this water texture, although it looks like some kind of Nickelodeon thing. This is clearly going to become something later. This is... Uh, not sure. There's a lot of just weird edges and stuff. Okay, that's where the invisible floor is. I love Doom invisible floors. They're so fucking hacky. It's just the, um... It's, it's basically a trick to make the physics disagree with the renderer. Um because like the edge of a, a sector which is just some chunk of the world like any polygon in here is a sector they're defined implicitly by their edges which all just say I belong to this sector 
So to make an invisible floor, you make a rectangle or whatever, and you set both the inner and outer edges to belong to the inside. So the, the physics will still go, okay, well, in this space, there is a thing this tall. So it will treat it like that, it's there. But the renderer will say, well, I only care about drawing edges, and the surrounding space doesn't actually touch the inside anywhere, so I won't draw anything. Where is a blue door? Is this a blue door? I guess. Aha. Uh, um. So that. Ah. Cute. When do I get another gun? <laughs> kind of want a chain gun. Ah, uh, great. I also like lift that turns out to be a door. I feel like the edges are slightly too clean. Like, well, it's hard to criticize Doom textures, custom ones, for not fitting in enough when like nothing in the original game really fits with anything else. This looks ah. Oh. the force field too. Kind of funny, Z-Doom added a, a, a force field like capability except um, it makes force fields that repel you and also damage you in a very not particularly customizable way so I don't think anyone uses it. I wonder if it was inherited from Hexen somehow. That doesn't really seem like a force field kind of game though. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I love this set. They, they put so much weird effort into semi-realistic. Like, these look more like they could be crates. The other one, the vanilla ones are kind of cartoony. And they have all those signs for where you are in a building or whatever. But then they just have you push on a crate and it lowers, and now there's a face switch. Oh. Oh, of course. Okay. What was the point of that? Why did I do any of that? I guess it got me the super shotgun. Wait, this was like a alt path. Oh, okay, here we go. Crap. See if I can grab your gun. Nice. Eh, not that one. 
Okay, these walls are totally gonna open and reveal some stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. I do like their new teleporter sound. Like, that's... It sounds more mysterious, I guess, which is kind of fitting with the... the theme of the set, insofar as there is one. Hang on. Needed to help Annis get comfortably in his cat bed. I guess I'll get this since I'm probably not coming back. Um, these are nothing. Got a red key. Okay. It is. It is a little rude to have the the exit the only way out of here, like at an angle, so you only see it if you go all the way back here and then walk back. You know, it's interesting. Interesting that that's a choice that you can make when designing a map like this. Anyway, boy, there's a lot of shells now. Where did you come from? Oh, oh, okay, this is that one spot from before. And now the red key I can go wait that's new oh okay right but also I would love to get out here hmm Can y'all shoot me through the glass? Nope. Ah. I wonder if barrel splash damage goes through walls. Can I just like... Cool. It is a little weird how inconsistent this is. It taught me in the first map that projectiles go through glass. And now, that is not the case. Like, they rigged this so Monster Sight doesn't even go through the glass. Okay, well, just running in didn't super work. Whatever, I can afford the shells. Uh, this is something. What? This is a dead end. Okay. Hmm. Of course. Only on one side, though. Do 
there's just stuff just happening all the time. Also, I really love the sort of grinding stone sound. I'm pretty sure that's from something. That's that's probably a heretic or something, right? Is that a key? Can't tell. No. Wasn't this different colors before? Right. She's over there. Ah! can't you see me? One downside of uh, cutesy mapping tricks is that they do kind of fuck with your expectations a lot. Um. Oh. Okay. I do like the laugh also. That's pretty good. This actually looks like an area from Doom 4. These maps are really mm, incomprehensible, but I don't know, I kind of like the the feeling that makes of just everything is a little mysterious in a way that Vanilla Doom isn't really. Also I love how many press the screen things there are, it's very good. Oh. Guess I'll see you guys later. Oh, I should have run this with Waste Knot. Oh well. Where's the other one? Hang on, let me... My microphone is not actually in front of my face. Yeah, that's better. We're also being on Cemetery, which is funny because Romero has said in very clear terms that he thinks that's bad. Okay. <laughs> I need to come up with some revenant themed catchphrases. Like, welcome to the bone zone. Except that's something they would say, not me, so I don't know. This looks ominous. Um, and... Tricky to push. 
and nothing happened. Well, these two things are like are like wings on either side. So that seems to suggest this will become a door sometime, right? Um, what is this texture? I hate how it's like slightly does not tile. Ah, oh, it's the worst. Can I can I go back through this? I can. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, whoa. Some stuff happened since we were last here. What's up, my dude? Did they, like... Like, I don't think there's a way to... to block monster sight using standard vanilla doom stuff but there is a thing called a reject lump which basically is a huge matrix that lists whether every sector can see every other sector to sort of pre-compute line of sight stuff and i wonder if they just deliberately altered that so that monsters can't see through like this line even though they should be able to I didn't know Z-Doom actually used that lump. I thought it just always did line of sight. I guess it can just create it on its own if necessary. That's kind of a nice thing that Z-Doom did was... Am I being trapped in here? Nope. Okay. Um, was make it so a lot of the pre-computed stuff is optional. Oh, Jesus. How'd they know? I love this very long hallway with nothing to hide behind right before this door. I also like how the Doom Engine like automatically lets monsters open doors just by walking into them. That's clever. Although, I guess one downside of uh, UDMF, Fancy Pants New Format Mapping, is that you pick exactly what triggers apply to a thing. Uh, and in vanilla, you can just say, this is a door, and it'll get the monster behavior automatically. But with UDMF, uh, you have to explicitly say monsters can activate it, I think. So if you don't think to do that on every door, uh, it won't happen. You kind of lose that magic behavior. What even is this map? Oh, the map names aren't written in because this is vanilla, so uh, I forget. I think it was just called like Tower of something. Do I shoot that? Yes. Excellent. I am missing a buttload of secrets. Like, I don't know, someone someone drew this. And usually mappers and artists are not necessarily the same people. So somehow they just got a bunch of nice textures. Uh, and now we're back to rock. Welcome to the Raspberry Zone. Yeah. This is a cool exit room. Although it's weird that this is glass, and it seems 
Like maybe it should be bars or something. But we missed some stuff, so let's go secret hunting. None of this, like, even remotely resembles this initial area. It's just a lot of, like, long stretches of hallway that go off and kind of do their own thing thematically. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> the entire, like, guardrail comes down. That's interesting. I like how uh, a ton of modern megawads will still obey the Doom palette. Uh, Doom is a 256 color game and everything has to fit in one of those colors. Although this is GZ Doom, so that's not actually true, but it's considered polite. Um, but they will obey the palette, except they will change the blues to be a little more green, so you get kind of an aqua color instead of this extreme pure blue on everything. And it actually makes the whole game look a lot nicer. Uh, oh right, statue thing. I don't... Hmm. I guess, I guess I'll take these. I wish I had an auto map. Um, well, I don't want to just linger forever, so I guess I'll go, but two out of seven secrets isn't great. Why is there poison here? This doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to do with my Rust Doom editing little project was uh, teach it how to write out in English exactly how to get to every secret and beat the map. <laughs> cyan health potions is a sign of a good one. Thank you, chat. Oh, nice! Oh, I love when the end of one map matches the beginning of the next one. That is my favorite thing. Oh, this was the map that I got lost in. Because I think the progression, which as you can see is a lot of very similar hallway again. Uh, how does this indicate yellow door? Whatever. Uh, but the progression ended with, oh, I needed to just hit a wall somewhere, and I could not beat the map unless I did that. Oh, maybe I'll get a chain gun. Ow. This music is so goofy. Now, am I supposed to be able to do- nope! I am not. I am not supposed to do that. Okay. That was painful. Well, so much for that tiny bit of armor I had. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the kind of thing I mean about mess with your expectations. Like, that looks like a tiny ledge I can walk on. And I think 
think an early TNT map even uses something like that. Maybe a little thicker though. But I thought it was the same thing here, and for my arrogance, I was severely punished. Alright, so we've moved on from a lot of identical looking uh, hallways to a lot of identical looking hallways with doors between them that are also identical. Uh, yeah, sure. Please die. Goodness gracious. Oh, perfect. Off. Oh, fuck. Off. Oh, come on. Um. Wait, wait, let me borrow this and run away. Give me some bullets. Sweet ow. Holy crap, yes, excellent. Ah! There we go. Fuck off! <laughs> Love to get up here and get a chain gun. Oh my goodness. Uh, ooh. Okay. Oh, what a surprise. Why did that button disappear? What is going on? Stuff just happens. Events transpire. Who is shooting me? What is teleporting? What is happening? Where the fuck did you come from? Okay. <laughs> I love I love when decals give away uh, what's what's going on. Okay, is am I gonna regret this? Yes. Oh my god. Gun, excellent. Still no keys. Well, I got a, I got a gun. That's nice. Oh, bad platforming. Okay.
<sighs> Why did they make these pillars so I can't quite fit between most of them? All right, we got some some armor back. That's good. And we got a chain gun and a rocket launcher and a bunch of rockets and no keys. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ah! <laughs> There's... It just doesn't end. Oh, 245 monsters on map 3. Okay. Well, that's fine. No idea how to get out there. No idea why this isn't, like, a regular button. Uh, where the hell was I before? Because now I have to go back and do that all again. No, that's where I came back to. Give me one landmark. Um, this is really all the map that I've seen? Oh, wait. It's this way. Okay. When I came in this room, I imagined, in a flight of fancy, that perhaps I would get the yellow key. That has not happened. Ah, uh, uh-oh. This could be a problem. Ah, uh, this could be a large problem, actually. They're really big on really painful floors. Let me try straight front it. Oh my god. Oh! Can't even squish to a blue thing because I changed its blood color to blue. Interesting. Okay. Now, I have an idea. Wait. That was an old idea. Forgot I already got the rocket launcher. Aha! No. What did that do? Hey, buddy. Guess I'll meet you later. Another thing that's kind of popular in uh, more recent Doom stuff is to put like tiny edging on the edge of every step. Which looks a bit like over-detailing, but it also helps you tell that this is steps when you're looking at it. Or they'll like alternate the textures of adjacent steps. Oh. Okay. No catch, really? Wait, what? Okay, I feel like I'm not done here yet. Where is the Hell Knight that was in there? I think I've now seen every key and acquired none of them. Oh, wait, this is new. Uh... 
I do like invisible door required for progression that is hinted to you. Oh. Oh, that's cool as hell. Oh, these are monster blocking. Okay. That means I can use my new rocket launcher. Wow. That was quite an adventure. And it just lowers automatically when you come in here. Okay. Where the hell yellow door? Now this has to lead just back around to one of the other two keys, because I've already seen them all. Although... I have to admit, I'm one of those assholes who, if I ever make a megawatt or even just more than one map, I'm totally gonna use like eight different color keys. That's pretty cool. Uh... Okay. Still doesn't help me get the key. Ooh, I guess I have to go press that. How the hell do I get back in there? Uh, can I go back this way? Does this go anywhere? No. Yeah, the foreshadowing in this map is, like, fucking incredible. Um, but then the progression is... super weird. Just... just weird stuff happens, and it... F it feels like I'm half responsible, I don't know. Uh... Okay, so that guy's back. Still don't know how to get in here. Welcome to the bone zone. Eh. More like the bone groan. Ow. Oh. I'm real bad at, at dodging revenant rockets, missiles, projectiles, whatever. Okay, fuck off. Oh, come on. Really? Why is all the slime so damaging and they make me run on so much of it? Let's do this quicker. Oh, whatever. Hold still. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, let's just save scum this fucking lava switch. Oh, come on. You're killing me, literally. Aha. Not super clear on how this is a secret. Oh. But it's okay, because soon all will be healed. Oh, oh, oh my god. Fuck!
All right, we did it. Are there nested secrets in here? Oh, no. Just, uh... Oh, that's one sector. Okay, weird. Whatever. Um, I got... I got a key. Blue door. This will lead me to, I assume, the red key. Uh oh. I guess the thing about Vanilla Doom is that even the monster placement wasn't really symmetrical. Which was kind of cool. Made for some uh, surprises. Although I guess here we have chain guns on one side and shotguns on the other, so it's not quite the same. Okay. Oh, I love that crap. This is showing me that the red key thing is being lowered because it's the same shape. What? Uh oh. Oh, and that's right next door. And those guys respawned. <sighs> this kind of room, though, really is like Doom level design at its finest, because I have no idea what this is. But it looks like it's something. How do I... Is this... Oh. Weird. Of course, of course. Holy crap. That seems bad. Oh my god, there's still a hundred monsters left and I have all the keys. The hell is through here? remember this map at all. This seems vaguely familiar, but also, what? What? I choose one at a time. 
wait, so can I, can I like not go through this? Oh, it's faking it. Oh, okay. This is wild. Oh my god, why? the fuck is happening? I... I feel like I'm gonna regret going down here. Oh, no. Alright, y'all fight each other a bit. I'll just shoot whoever comes out. my own dumb face. I feel like... What is the rocket splash range? Is it like radius 128? That feels really small. But whatever it is, I should probably get a hang of it. Hello, Napoleon. Still 80 guys left. Guess we'll do red next. Yeah, okay, there's like a shell around the bars. I don't know what's happening. But I'll run away from- okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, they're in the wall. Great. Oh. Sure are a lot of chain gun guys in this ancient temple. Uh, sure, I love just hitting buttons. Nothing ever goes wrong. Fuck! <laughs> I do actually love running into a, just a nest of Chenga dudes, because uh, they just start shooting each other instantly. It's hilarious. I love this caution edging. Oh! What caused that? Is this how it feels to, like, loot a pyramid? Okay. Uh, yes please. That's obviously something- oh, thank god. What now? I can leave, but I didn't do blue yet.
Whoop, goodbye. What is this even supposed to be? God, is this really the same map? This could have been two. This person just started and refused to stop. No, I don't like it. Oh my god. Uh, let me let me bump my tweet <clears throat> real quick. <sighs> this would be a good time for an ad break, but I don't know how to do that. So you just have to sit for a second while I browse my file system. Okay. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. What? Oh, fuck! That was like the worst thing that can happen. How do I make you infight? Oh, okay. It is already happening. I'll yeah, just- I'll just leave. Yeah! It's great. This map set is... It's stupid garbage, but I love it. I especially love the time travel map, which what comes up later. About? There's a time travel map. Why is there a time travel map? It's Eternal Doom. It's about time travel, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm missing a butt-ass load of secrets also. So, maybe we'll just uh, hop on back. Okay. That's just rude. Come on, dude. Come on, in fight. Hit him. Jesus. Didn't even give her a chance. I have so many rockets. Okay, that was two secrets, so whoever did this fell victim to the common map editor caused error of if you make a sector or a sector and mark it secret and then cut it in half, now you have two secrets. Uh, oh my god, I don't know if I really want to. Okay, well I found some stuff. Jesus, I found a lot of stuff. What even opened this door? And this goes nowhere. How do I get the megasphere? I want it. Uh, okay, well. That looks promising. And that connects to... Um, the slime. I 
guess. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. That was a triple secret. Is this... Jesus Christ. Wait. Okay, so this is transparent on one side and solid on the other. These are cool-ass pillars, actually. I don't know what that is. It's like a sun-moon kind of thing, but combined with a pentagram. Oh, come on! Did I really need to be punished for this? Ow. And now we're back to uh, glass we can shoot through. It is very cool to know how many shots everything takes to die. Come here. Fucker. Whatever. And this opened into the central room with the red key. Wild. Well, that's most of the secrets. Fuck this map. What a weird, weird mess. Why is only one of them blocked off now? Oh yeah, there's still a cyber demon somewhere. That's why I've been getting so many goddamn... Please, please hit the guy. Eh... Uh, now they're all wandering over here. Alright, well let's do something incredibly ballsy. Oh, it hurts so much. Huh. There we go. Yeah, get him. Mm -hmm. Are we sure that Rocket uh, Splash is just a radius check? Because I feel like it did not whoops, hurt me while I was hiding behind that thing. Okay. Please just put me out of my misery. Thank you. Whoop. Oh. That worked out. No. Oh. That's so far it feels like they've given me an auto map at the end of every map. <laughs> And that's pretty polite. How do I get this? Aha. Is this gonna be like the last secret? Nope. Okay. I love this super clinical Times New Roman exit sign also. Um, we missed two monsters in a secret. Oh, well. Of course, of course there'd be a fake exit. Oh, the next one is going to be the, uh, um, sort of crate maze one. Oh. All right. So that took half an hour. Entering map four. <laughs> I do like the linkage, even if it makes no sense. Also, I guess we haven't done time travel yet. No! No! Why? Where? Where is that fucker? Okay.
What's up, my dude? I love these numbered crates, although they look like, uh... This is like the texture you'd put on, like, a chips challenge wall to indicate that absolutely nothing could destroy it. So these don't look like crates, they look like permanent fixtures. But they are, because this is Doom. So, that's all. I love that skull switch. Damn, this makes me want to do some Doom mapping. But I can't, because Slade is still fucking broken. For me. Just me, apparently. And I don't know how to fix it. Let's see here. These are just walls made of crates. Like, this is such a bizarre sort of aesthetic. Hang on. Guess that'll be a thing later. Yeah, they also like telegraph things that will open later. Which is nice because then I have something in mind when I press the switch and I don't know what it does. And so far they've been pretty kind with arch files, I guess. Just just reflecting on that. I love this. There's a lot of nice nice touches here. Oh fuck, that's bad. That's a bad touch. Ow. Oh, fuck off. Crap. Uh, where's the progression? Oh, what's this? Not a button. What's this? Nothing. What am I doing? This has like exactly the same number of monsters as the last map. Um. Okay, wait. I didn't finish up here. Because there was an arch file. Of course, some stuff just mysteriously happened. Um, did that do anything? Was it here before? Is anything here before? Hmm. Jumped from 5 to 37. I love this big old chunky one. What am I doing? I feel like I saw something else out of the corner of my eye, but I was distracted by the imps. Is this... No? something change in here? Just for no reason? Oh. Well, that's new. Let's just run around and whatever shoots us, come what may. Okay, sera, sera. Like do a cool jump on here? I can't. It's so weird that they put a little uh, appear out of the floor trick up here for just one imp. I love climbing through stuff that looks like windows. Uh, oh, god damn it.
Yeah, it definitely doesn't hit around corners. Fuck! So, Twitch has informed me that, um, don't, don't tell Twitch I said this, but adblock works great on Twitch, so I don't know what Twitch's normal ad behavior is, um, but it has told me that if I explicitly do an ad break, then that will save people from getting ads when they first watch, but I'm, I'm not sure if that's like... Really, an improvement? Or how to do it? So, I don't know. Does anyone have an opinion on whether I attempt to make that happen? Does it improve the Twitch experience if I just let it do a 30 second thing? I mean, I fucking hate ads, but if it's gonna play them anyway, then it's probably better if I tell it to play them while I look at Discord or something, right? Also, if someone could tell me what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing, that would be amazing. That last map was the one I got lost in the first time, but uh, this is... What if I just hop here? No. Yeah, sometimes things just happen in Eternal Doom, and it's difficult to know why. Or what? I guess the only place I can go is over here still, but... There is nothing over here. And it all looks the same. I, I love this as a variant, they're just like, yeah, just, just draw a sticker on it. We use that sometimes. Uh, so I need a red key to go down there. I don't I don't think I've seen any keys. I've seen a red door and a yellow door now. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess something interesting is through there. Oh, this is new. This is Bay 2. Uh. Did I just hear something lock me in? No. Oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Pain elemental infighting is so funny. And also very bad. Oh man, this would suck a lot more in vanilla. Um, because I can run underneath monsters, but technically I should not be able to. That is an enhancement from the future where I live. You fucking assholes. Oh yeah, it's wild that Lost Souls forget their target when they hit a wall. They just completely forget whatever they're uh, doing. Okay. Loose panel was a button. Oh, this is... I don't know. Something is happening. Oh, frickin' hell. came from over here, right? So, is this new? Yep. Again, everything. Very similar. Ooh. Why is there a pink bit in there? And what did that do? Aha. What? Did 
This is such a roundabout backdoor secret, but I fucking love it. Oh, is this giving me the chainsaw? Yes, I don't have a chainsaw. Excellent. Okay. This is so big and sprawling, and every time something changes, it's really minor and in like one place. So it is very easy to lose track of what the hell I'm doing. Where even was I a second ago? Let me just go back to here. Uh, okay, that is now blocked off. Arbitrarily. It's here, okay. So that just does that. What did I gain by being able to come out here? Oh. I love that, like, I think that Revenant came out of this open crate, implying that they're just shipping them somewhere. Which would actually be a pretty good like, master plan, I guess, just male demons all over the world. Stuck on geometry. Oh yeah, I don't think about this much, but in Vanilla Doom, um, like having this label on several types of crates cost basically nothing uh, because the textures weren't uh, stored in the wad directly. They were made out of patches, which are just sort of like subtextures overlaid. So. Stuff like combining like this one with this one, or this one with this two, like these are different textures, but they're probably made out of the same big one patch and then a big two patch. So you can just like over <laughs> oh, excuse me. Overlay stuff. Uh without taking up disk space. Disk space. Which doesn't matter at all anymore because just compress the thing or whatever. And also it'll add like 10k and who cares oh wait oh this is different this looks just like the start room come on we added 7,000 new textures to the game and only used three of them in each level I really love that, that rock grinding sound. It's so good. It doesn't always make sense, but it sounds awesome. That's definitely a secret, right? Cannot even tell if there's dudes in there. No. No. That was weird. Why not just have the Hell Knight there? That laugh is really good. Is that Hexen laugh? Oh! I found the arch file. By the way, if you're curious, an arch file takes three and a half rockets. 
Oh, surprise. Of course, damage is randomized, so uh, everything takes a slightly variable amount, but Archfile is extra annoying because it varies just a bit more. Yeah, that was a cute trick actually, like, obviously I heard it wake up, but I only heard one wake up, so I thought there was only going to be the one, so the other one was all the more surprising. Do I want this armor? Yeah. Oh, I also want to jump in that hole. Me. No. What about this? Damn. Regular viewers know my strong feelings about electrical panel sign, which is that it should always, always be a secret. Goodbye. Where's the pain elemental? I saw one, right? Oh. Oh no. Oh, okay, thank god. Use a little health. Oh, I have a red key. Oh, uh, there was a red, there was a red thing. Who's laughing? It's so funny. Oh. Mm. A cool thing about uh, really open map design like this is that you can just release monsters somewhere, and they will just sort of wander around at semi-random trying to find the player, so you might bump into them, like, any time. And it really just feels like more stuff is is showing up. Oh, where did you come from? Anyway, it's cool. Uh... Let me get out. Okay. All right. So we are back here. This is still not a button. I have found zero secrets so far. I just keep walking back places I've already been, and it's different. <laughs> and this is such a confusing clusterfuck. Where was the red thing? It was... Ow! Christ! Did I leave health up here? It was a berserk, but I took it. Like a fool. Punished for my hubris once again. Wasn't it? Oh. Back. 
No. Oh. Um. Take that one too. Sorry, I ruined the 69. It was. Just back in the darkness somewhere. Oh, wait. This looks promising. Nice. I had a cool doom fact in mind, but then I forgot it because a bunch of stuff was shooting at me. Ow. Damn. Interesting. How do we go from a crate maze to like a fairly plausible slime sewer underground thing? Which is doing actually a pretty good job of faking room over room. Uh, can I walk through this? Well, this is definitely a big fucking arena. Maybe. Uh... Oh! Cool. Yeah. Eat it, skeletons. Did you just... Of course you locked me in. I wasn't done back there. Oh, that's kind of a waste. Whoops. But I got lots of rockets! Ow. Very nice shadows. So this is just an up and down floor. Oh, my first cells. Not counting backpacks. Why is this secret? There was a monster in it. Hey, buddy. For some reason, after I shoot a rocket, I feel like I need to hold still to see 
if it misses or something. I don't know. Um, oh, this is cute. A little little bridge above me with little fake floor pieces. So I guess I'll get this. What am I even doing? Oh, there's a key. In this very ominous room. Are you gonna bring an arch file in? Is that is that what's happening? on a timer? Yup! Ah, oh, you ass. So I'm pretty sure, um, since we have some time to just discuss this now, I'm pretty sure the trick is just uh, something activated a crusher, which crushed a barrel, which killed those monsters, but also sent them flying, and as they were dying they crossed the teleport line, which teleported them into the room. Which is very cute. Um, any second now. All right. Well, let's, where is it? It didn't teleport in. Oh, that's weird. What happened? The teleporter broke. Oh. I guess I accidentally didn't cross a line it expected me to cross. Alright, after all that, basically half the map done. Oh, that was my second key, never mind. Ah, that's why. I have to backtrack through all this now? I don't even remember a blue thing. Anyone else remember a blue thing? Are there gonna be a bunch of monsters everywhere? No? Okay. Is there anything in here? This is a very... Another very twisty kind of map, but not finding many secrets. It's weird because the progression is like big and grandiose and convoluted, but the secrets are just really tiny, out of the way things. How far off the map are we? Oh wow, that kind of just... <laughs> That's kind of adorable. Clearly there's a bunch of stuff in the middle here, and they just sort of tucked this neatly around it. But, um, oh, okay, I thought that was a wall. 
All that to get the blue key. And what is the point of this room? I don't know. Let's go back up. Still in the slime. Oh, well then. I love, uh, I love key doors that are just little. Kind of innocuous. Also, I like that they have the door textures that are just the key they are. But, um, there's something charming about to get anywhere else in the level. I need to get through this tiny access hatch. Like, I think classic Doom, usually they were, like, fairly, they were just standard door size for the map. Whatever that might have been. But usually full size doors in something like the Focus, just a skinny door, but I like doors that are just very small. Ah, fucking. Yeah, having them just pop out of the floor like that is another cute trick. Um. It's it's the same thing as an invisible bridge, except it's a hole in the ground. But same idea, it doesn't get drawn. Um, and there is another trick where... I forget exactly how you do it, because you can just do it in Z-Doom normally, so I never have to care, but... It's something like if you lower... Th there's a specific action for lowering a floor to match like the lowest neighboring floor. And if the lowest neighboring floor is above it, in some certain circumstance, then it'll just raise instantly instead. So they do that to have stuff pop out of the ground immediately. Just hacks upon hacks. That's kind of a waste. Yeah, I don't love putting, like, uh... Ooh. Cool. Oh, and that's a tiny peek back to the beginning. Oh, that's interesting. But, yeah, putting, uh... I like how I'm progressing with these little elevators. But putting health in somewhere you can't avoid it is kind of rude. Because then sometimes you might really need it later. But not right now. This is like a totally different fucking level. just been in the secret sewer level for half this map now. Oh, okay. Ah. Did you die? Okay. Again. Whoop, you didn't. This part is familiar. I remember some kind of intricate secret here. Anyway, I don't know. It's fascinating to me that all these levels so far, I think every single one has used all three keys. Oops. Like the previous one used all three keys and then faked three more. I really do wonder how contraptions like the the skull key thing from the last map 
like, how does that work if you're playing on co-op? Feels like it would not work very well, but I think these are supposed to be co-opable. Hmm. No switch on this side? Ooh. Um. I'll save it now. Oh yeah, there was another soul sphere back at the beginning too, but I don't know how the hell you get that. Okay. I guess I'll grab... I love this sort of ooze splattered texture also. Uh, I like variant textures. They're good. Oh, this is stairs. That's not a button. Okay, well, let's just hit this and see what happens. Oh, stairs, okay. I do love all the computer terminals, just, I always loved that in vanilla. And they added new ones, it's very good. What? Okay. did not expect that to link around like that. Oh, no. So this accomplished nothing. Wow. Look how f tightly packed this map is. This is very cool and very weird. And there's nothing through there. Can I just shoot it? I don't understand how to open that. Okay, so they can see me, but we can't shoot each other. I'm actually not sure how that works. Um, what do I do? There's no, there's no buttons.
Uh... Oh wait, oh this is an airlock. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Anything on the other side? This whole thing felt really complicated. It was just kind of one long stretch of tunnel. Oh, and there's the yellow one way on the other side I didn't do. Maybe this is going to connect around. I have no idea what the hell is going on. That was weird. I like the sort of lore connotations of Arachnotrons, because uh, I, I guess just because of how they were introduced in the factory, which I say introduced, but that was like the first like major use of them, just walking around outside, and they felt like just big old factory guards, which was really cool. Um, and I also associate them with slime, but I'm not totally sure why. That might be more of a... Ha! Ha! Holy crap. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, um... There was a boo-boo with them coming out of the floor. And they kind of got stacked. Holy Jesus Christ. Are there two of them? I was lucky. I mean, talented. Um, this leads back around, but I might as well go up. Okay, I kind of dig that little watch station. Ooh, misaligned textures. Oh, this wad will never take off with that kind of 
foolishness. Alright, and that completes the loop. So now, can I just go down here? Yeah. Uh, I guess we're getting near the end. Oh. I like this slightly banged up looking shutter. Oh, please don't. Oh, man. Oh, I have no armor. Excellent. And this is all slime. What am I supposed to do here? I have no idea if I'm supposed to do something clever, but I don't really have the health to figure it out. Oh my god. Um, This sucks, actually. Alright, alright, hang on. What we'll do is... We'll piss off everything. And then we'll run like hell. Crap. Oh, it was right there. I can't believe there's more chain gunners over there. I'm just gonna chain gun a spider mastermind. It's not it's not working. If I could get you guys to infight, that would be a start. Buttons. Press buttons. What did that do? Oh, man. Nope. <laughs> I just gotta kill you from here. No. Uh... This sucks ass. Okay. Progress. Fuck. Um... This sucks. I don't... I don't have any armor. And I don't have a lot of health. And this... this part is just... impossible if I can't run through all that. Can 
Can I like lure the rest of them out, maybe? Oh. Well, I can't I can't take any any damage or I'm just fucked. Hurts so much. Okay. I'm guessing that when I did this before on Hurt Me Plenty, there was not a spider mastermind at the end. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. Well, I am not secret hunting. Fuck it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Time gate, finally. Okay, hang on. Uh oh, I can do it I can do an ad break while I take a second to shake my hand off, so I guess we'll just we'll just do that. So be right back. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Oh, it probably doesn't work because ad block is blocking. Oh, no, it did work. Okay. Remember, you are still live. Some people may not get an ad. Like me, yes. I'm going to eat a cookie. No! How many are left? Six. I got two. I thought Hold you didn't on. even like those. 24 count. Four left. Uh, They're okay. Uh, Not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't believe you brought these over here. They're, so, they're so tasty. Now it's my turn. I want a cookie. Give me a cookie. Give it to me. I order you as your wife. Don't. I don't want the bite that's in your mouth. I want a pristine cookie. Pristine wife cookie. I can buy another box later. That's always a logic. And then you'll have 20 of those also. Correct. No! <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Fine. Well, here's map five. Time gate. I remember this one. Short and sweet. 145 monsters. Well, not as short or sweet as I thought. But we'll, we'll work on that. 
Oh, I can do a Twitch poll. Let's see. Question. Do I get a cookie? Responses, yes. And no, two cookies. All right. Oh, wow. It does not last very long. There we go. We'll see what the results are shortly. It really is mysterious that they only reskinned the imps. Nothing else. Don't understand why. I want a service that, instead of coming up with its own... Oh wow, free rocket launcher. Instead of coming up with its own fake currency, like bits or whatever, it just uses cookies. And I don't get paid in cash, I just get cookies mailed to my house. And that's just what happens. I don't really care what the service does. I just want some cookies. Oh, I just got shot in the face! This is such a weird map, because so much of the combat is with these things just sort of on the outer railing. Also, this game is just... What? What? Ah. Yeah, well, all my memories of these maps are wrong because I usually just play stuff on Hurt Me Plenty because that is the default difficulty, so my belief is that that is how maps are meant to be played. I know nobody but me thinks this, but... Man. Sure is a lot more stuff. What is that? What is that? single greenish spot over there in the sky. Weird. Doom is so weird also, like, it's it's good to make all your maps playable from a pistol start, but the game itself never actually enforces this, and sometimes that's really weird because maps will be designed so that there's a big critter somewhere, and that acts as a sort of progression gate because you can't kill it until you have a big gun, but... If you have a big gun from the last map, then that just doesn't work. I think uh, I think Sandy Peterson sort of relied on that a lot, and his maps are just fiendish, horrible garbage from Pistol Start. Um, but you can also just play them in a continuous playthrough and basically just steamroll them, which is interesting. I'm surprised that, like, Zedun doesn't have a mode to automatically reset your inventory every map. That would not be super difficult to do. Um, not yet. Haha, <laughs> suckers. somebody. I also like about this map that you have to go through the whole moat and circle back very nearly to the very beginning. Um, 
in order to get like up on the land. Also, I guess this one did not connect with the last one, but it kind of works out because the last one ended in a big teleporter. So I forgive it. Hey, what's up? You guys are three? I don't remember. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, fuck. That didn't end well. I think this is where I started, right in here. Yep. I think there might still be... Ooh, I didn't know this was here. Anyway, um, need keys for these. Let's go get some keys. What's up, friends? I also love Cacodemons rising out of somewhere as just a mapping trope. It's very good. And no, Cliff, that was not a single map wad. This is a mega wad. There are a full 32 maps in this fucking nightmare. Let's see, how do I view the results of my... Okay, well, it came out, one person voted for yes, I get a cookie. And one person voted for no, I get two cookies. Hold on, hold on, wait. Did you just do a poll? I did a Twitch poll of my Twitch viewer audience. Two That's people weird, because I don't think they're the ones who have the cookies. You're right, I have the cookies because I bought them. Mm, that's really interesting. I feel like I've bought stuff before and you've consumed all of it. Hmm, is that is that the case? I can't believe you're making people vote about cookies. I can't believe you're not giving me cookies. You really can't believe that? Well... <laughs> got a chain gun. And... There's a lot of armor. I guess I'll take that. And some, some more... Some more dudes. Ooh, there's a good armor. Oh, nice! What? Oh, I hit F by accident, sorry. It's my mapping debug key. Oh my god! Uh... Hang on, I want to get a good shot of you guys fighting. Please come over to a, a more open area.
Whoops. Oh my god, they're just fighting each other. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I love it. So, like, projectiles from, from a critter will not hurt critters of another species, so in general, cacodemons won't infight simply because they can't hurt each other. Ooh. But in this case, uh, one of them blew up barrels that hurt another one of them, so it got pissed off at the first one and kept shooting, like, fireballs at it, which, of course, didn't work because the other one didn't even notice, but then it got close enough to bite and then the two of them just sort of bit each other to death, and it was it was pretty good. Oh. Holy cow! Ow! Ah! Uh dude came and shot me in the back and I panicked. Should not have woken you up. Bad idea. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, that does not seem to have set the trap off. Okay. Okay, I guess that's what that experience was supposed to be like. Um, let's see. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Something's happening somewhere. Don't I need a key? I do. Where does that happen? I feel like I get confused in this room every time I play this map. There's something... that's supposed to trigger something. Did I not work, like, far enough around? That's nothing. That's not... well, eh, later. That's... oh, what? Oh, I died and I didn't kill these guys. Okay, 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 because there's a switch here. Come on, nerds. Okay, and that probably raises the thing which had the skull on it. And I'll get this now, because I'm probably not coming back around this way. 
Yeah, I love it. This is like a really simple map, but it's still just goofy and twisty. Okay, so now I can get out this side. Uh, I'm not super sure what this accomplishes. Oh. Key into key. Okay, so now I can go back this way. Holy crap. I also do want to um, hit up the beginning because I could swear there's a thing. Do, do, do. Like, what is this? It super looks like a door. Oh, and that's where the super shotgun is. I like big loops. They're very satisfying. Well, I guess I'm just stuck at zero of four secrets. Hey, what's up? Come out here. That'll work. I also love lifts that are not square. Such as this one. Feels a lot less artificial. Like, it makes it feel like the engine can do more, even though there's nothing special about this. Uh, okay. S Red seal disengaged. Excellent. I love this hallway too, just, I don't know, everything about this is just sort of fascinating touches. Also, I like how um, all this did to disengage the seal was just open a fake door in front of the real one. Oh, that's awesome too. Right, right, okay, this is, uh... Sorry if you have epilepsy, but whoever made this map doesn't care, I guess. Boy, this sucks to look at, actually. Ugh. And I'm invisible, so I can't even see myself. Are there... I feel like this is giving me epilepsy. Jesus Christ, let's get out of here as soon as possible. Whoops. That was a waste. Uh... How do I make the other one go down? Wait, okay. How does this fit in there? Uh... Now, I remember this. I love the allow four seconds for security check thing, which is really just kind of like the last map. It's an airlock. Like, this doesn't do anything because it just opens the door again. Oh, fuck. Oh, bad. See ya. Sucker. How is this dude not dead? How am I also not dead? Um, I did that one. Okay, this opened. Nice. 
Ugh. Sorry. Oh, crap. <laughs> This is horrible. Well, thanks. I accept your apology. I do like this map just uses a bunch of blue items in blue areas. Very charming. Okay. What? All right. Oh, God. Huh. Let's go back and hit the blue one. Still no secrets. Don't know where any of them are. Ow. God damn. That was like calibrated so they would all shoot me at point blank. Is this a thing? Is this a thing? No. Neither are things. Also, having stuff teleport in when I return to a place I've been before is pretty impressive. I can imagine how you would do that, but it's a little tricky. Okay, so what use was that auto map? Not much. This does have a very cool looking map. Okay. Well. Let's just go do whatever. Real sad about losing my 200-200. Okay. Well, this seems ominous. Also, I love how you got peeks in here earlier from where all the cacodemons came out. What? Oh, man. Oh, man. That, nope. <laughs> Alright. Crap. Oh my god. What? That's weird. Specifically put that there to fuck with me if I tried to leave the room and sort of plink them. Okay. I think, uh... Is this whole room a weird trap or something? Okay, well, at least I can get those. That's pretty nice. Um, and there it is. The time gate. Uh, well, I'm out of armor, almost. And I don't know when I'll get another. So I'll take one of these greens with me. I like this map also. Oh wait, oh is this like... actually a map of where the thing will go? Does that mean I should follow it? 
I don't think there was a, another blue armor in the epilepsy chamber. I think I got the only one. So... The map said this is minus 1250, that's minus 1250, so that'll both go medieval. This will go five years in the future, and this will go a billion years in the past. So let's just try that out. Ah, well, this is when the Earth is still a flaming ball of nothing. So I guess I picked incorrectly. That's the door, so this is five years in the future. When Earth has been destroyed and taken over by cyberdemons. So it seems I have no choice except to follow them into the distant past. Oh, I should have been marking, like, when I start maps. What is this one? Map 06. Um, let's see. Here, I got a, I got a tweet, my cacodemon fight, so here's another ad break. Eh. See. Whoops, crap. Keyboard shortcuts on Twitter. Okay, and let's add a street marker for Mapo 6. Don't remember what it's called already. Wish this had map names. Oh, hi, baby. Cheeseball, don't stand on this perilous tower of books and things. Baby, baby, please move. Okay. Okay, so here we are. In medieval times, thanks to the time travel that happened. I guess the demons used time travel to go back and threaten humanity in its origins. Something, I don't know. I'm sure that's the plot. Oh yeah, this map set also came out in like uh, several parts. Technically this is Eternal Doom 3 because it includes all three parts, I guess. I don't know where Eternal Doom 1 stopped. I wonder if it stopped at Timegate. Okay, that's cute. Opening a door. That's actually just another instant drop thing. The open door was already open behind it, and the closed one just dropped out immediately. Very delightful. Let's see here. This map inspires feelings. Feelings of this is going to be a confusing mess. But I feel that way about every map. Oh no, I remember. There was a, a really bizarre spot somewhere later where I did get stuck. But hopefully I'll remember what to do. Even though I don't right now. It might not have even been this map, I don't know. I wonder how many of these textures are from uh, Gothic DM. I'm not even sure which came first. I love this suit of armor. 
I wonder if they pick medieval so they could borrow a lot of hex and textures or something. Uh, oh. Um. Oh, this lowered very slightly, okay. Can I go in here? That's... Okay, whatever. Incidentally, deep water is just uh, the same trick again. This is just an invisible hole in the floor. It would be good if I could hit skeleton. Listen, I reject Bethesda's claim over the name Doom Eternal, since this has existed for like 20 years. Oh. Wow, what a sucked if I hadn't looked in there. Unless that's a secret key. I love secret keys. I love that, like, classic Doom just straight up in basically the first map. It might have been, like, map four or something, but there's just a locked door in a big secret area. That's so good. Ooh. Buttons. None of the buttons in this damn game are anywhere near the thing they do. Oh. Okay, well, that one was. And... button! Uh... Hmm... Yeah, I've been calling the previous Doom Doom 4 because it's the fourth Doom game. I also reject people making a new thing and then just dropping the number. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you're fooling? Here's a new game, Doom. There's never been one of these before. Also, this is a sequel to Doom, the game that exists already. Also, we put chunks of Doom in it. Also, what the hell am I doing? Here's some boys. I like this little courtyard. I like it's completely non-hidden. It feels like a secret because courtyards are always secret in Doom, but it's just kind of there. Uh, huh. Well, so far there have been several places I had to go that were not at all obvious. Do I need... Oh. That wasn't there before. Okay. This is weird. Okay, so I needed all three. Of course. This is not very medieval looking technology. I don't know if they had key cards. I feel like I can believe any kind of Indiana Jones ass press a stone button and a bunch of stuff happens. But once you put key cards in it, eh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm glad all these medieval shotgun shells are everywhere also.
Hello. Did you kill that revenant? Was there a remnant? Did I imagine that? Oh, yeah, no, there was. Okay. Oh, I vaguely remember a bunch of stuff happening in this hallway. This is like a classic eternal hallway. It just looks like, like a hallway, whatever. But like 15 of these things are gonna open at different times and reveal different amounts of stuff. Oh, they did that in Plutonia, like Mapo 2 of Plutonia. Yeah, see had just the wall of switches which which is the most TNT thing to ever exist but it's also very awesome and they all did different things and I appreciated it even if no one else did what the hell is this is this new just a completely on its own hallway I like this I can't tell what it is but I like it Oh, oh. A lot of big hallway stairs, which I do enjoy. I'm reminded of a map somewhere. I think it might be a secret map in something reasonably well known, like. Um. What's that one? map set that turns kind of slaughtery towards the end and has the improved chain gun and pistol. Begins with an A. I don't remember. Anyway, I, th I think it might have had just a secret map that's just stairs. Maybe? Oh, this is... This feels like catacombs. I love just stuff hanging from the ceiling. That's very good. Ow. Feels like I'm getting further and further away from the map. Oh my god. This whole time I was expected to not have a super shotgun yet. Is that it? Um, crap. What? Okay. Didn't expect that. Oh. Of course. Shootable teleporter? Is this boom compatible? You definitely cannot do a shoot teleport in vanilla. This is so catacombs. I wish I could play Heretic, but with the Doom weapons. I guess I guess they just made all the Heretic monsters kind of tougher, because none of the weapons feel like they do anything. Is this going to be stairs now, maybe? What? Frickin' hell. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's cool, now it, like, descends into a tomb. Where the red key was. Have I seen a red door? I don't think so. Try this door at the end yet. Oh, this is red. Oh, okay. I love goodies. 
I also love the Zedoon behavior of if you're partially invisible, monsters will sometimes not recommend or not wake up when they see you. Ah, oh, I'm invisible. <laughs> I guess those are heat seeking. I feel like the Doom community would appreciate Blur Spheres a lot more if uh, they worked on Revenant Tracers. Now this looks like something. Oh. Well, that was kind of a waste of a blue armor then, but... Cool. Yeah, whatever. Rockets. Interesting. Large relief. And yet, strangely, not relieving at all. Ow. Oh crap. Real bad at this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, no. Hang on. That's better. A lot of stuff happening in here. I would love to make this Mancubus infight with this pain elemental. Damn, where'd all my rockets go? Probably into walls for me missing. Guess I'll uh, slow down with those for a little while. So there's no point in coming in this room, except to see this demon, I guess. What? 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 Ooh. Oh, I like that. It took the, uh, cool, like, herald banner thing and made it not be on a wall. What am I doing? Oh. Pressing some buttons. Frick off. Don't trap me in here. Thanks.
Son of a bitch. Crap. Why are you not dead? Okay. Um. Is this... What? Oh, that was something. Oh. oh, I thought this was going to be much worse. Oh, okay. Don't worry, it's getting worse. But very slowly. Okay. I have all the keys. Oh. Hmm. I guess it's kind of on brand to have a bunch of arch files here. Since they're like wizards or I don't know. I mean, they're he's casting a spell like canonically, I think. It's magic. So, it fits in medieval times, which is when they had real magic. That was a lot of rockets. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, medieval times is also when they had cyber demons. So that makes sense. Come on, my dude. That hurt a lot. Holy crap. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks. Not really what I need, but I appreciate the gesture, fuckers. I would have done better there, except that I was trying to avoid picking up the Blur Sphere, because that would have completely fucked me up. Anyway, that was the end of Pathos. Entering the Abbey. Ooh, we get some text. You have entered deeply into the infested star- hang on. No. No. Wrong game. Although... Hang on, let me check something real quick. Because I could have sworn that there was some kind of um, dehacked patch or something. But I don't see one. Is there a read me for this? Thing? Okay, let me let me read the read me real quick. God, this thing came with its own, like, shell thing.
Let's see. Oh, Eternal One goes all the way through map 12, so that's information. And this whole thing was made by like a dozen people, which is a lot of people. Uh, and yeah, 96. So 23 years ago. Uh, yeah, there's some kind of patching tool, but I don't know what it reads from. Well, okay, don't know. Anyway, uh, this will be map 07, Abby. This might be the one where I got stuck. I don't know, they all have kind of a similar theme, so I'm not totally sure. But I didn't see the part that I was looking for in the last map, so I think it's this one. I do remember this one having some just goofy stuff. Progression-wise, just just a lot of things happening. That's like my, my brand phrase for when things happen, and I don't know why. It's just things happening. Okay, I kind of love turrets. Which I guess is the best description for when there's a monster confined to a tight area and monsters trying to beam in on top of it. And monsters cannot telefrag other monsters, they'll just refuse to teleport. So as soon as you kill the first thing, the next thing shows up. And there's just sort of a... Is there an underwater shotgun? I can't see any of these items. Uh, but there's just sort of a mysterious progression of dudes coming in. Okay, now I'm stuck here. Aha. I also like that button that reminds me a lot of... Ah, uh, that fucking game that feels like a roguelike and you play with a party of four people and do stuff. Uh, I don't remember. Hey. Rude. God damn it. This is such a weird divider. And I can't write it up. Uh, Legend of Grimrock? Yeah, that sounds right. Anyway. I really dug its, its hidden wall switch thing. Which there was a lot of. And I love... Jesus Christ, how much health did I have? Enough. Some. Not much. Anyway, I love finding hidden switches. Not just like a wall that you like, rub your body against and something happens, but like, that's a legit hidden switch. It's great. It looks like a switch that's hidden. Who is shooting me? Who dares? I would love all of those items. I don't know how to get on this thing and write it to the top. Yeah, uh... Can I like... Can I just like zoom onto it from here maybe? Nope. Uh, you, regarding chat, uh, you totally do not need to distribute executable patches anymore. Uh, like, it's, I think since Boom, actually, it's been 
common for uh, source ports to just have native support for editing stuff that you used to be need to patch for. So now you can just include the patch file, but the executable will understand it natively and not have to actually edit itself. This is familiar. That's a cool door texture also. Like, damn. Oh. Those guys are just like classic Metroid red doors. Just put five rockets into them and then forget about them forever. This. Okay, we're coming up on where I got stuck. It was like in this next room. But I don't have a yellow key yet, so... Hi, baby. <laughs> I love Cheeseball. He just like saunters across my desk and when I say hi to him, he arches his back and lifts his tail. But he doesn't acknowledge me in any other way. He just does the happy pose, but keeps walking without looking at me. It's really funny. Um, there is a soul sphere, but I would love to have more than 40 health before I pick it up. Like, if I could get that stuff, that would be pretty good. Oh, this is a fake, a fake railing. That's cute. That's just an invisible floor again. Okay. Well, now I have 69, so I can't ruin it. What? Oh, where the fuck did that come from? Did that only appear when... Oh, I think that only appeared because I went over here. Which sucks, because I didn't go over here because I saw there was a thing in the way. Oh, goodness. Some angry boys. Imagine if monsters could pick up pickups. Like, they, their AI didn't know about them, but if they happened to walk across an invulnerability sphere, then they just took it. That happened in Chip's Challenge too. Um, some monsters could pick up keys and, like, power-ups and equipment and stuff that work the same way on them as on, as on you. But because there's no real AI in that game, they would just still move according to their rules, and you could uh, make use of this for shenanigans. Hey, what's up? I also like circling around a thing. Oh. Like like how I'm circling around this courtyard. Um okay. Well Okay, let's... This seems like a good time for a soul sphere. Gimme, give gimme. Give and now, I guess I should teleport back up there. It's so weird, there's like two teleporters in that room. Got some keys. Got some buttons. I'm overlooking an area, but the button doesn't seem to affect it, so that's a questionable decision. Got some some men coming out.
Are we done? What? Fuck. Okay. Now this room is where I remember being stuck. Because there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, oh god fucking hell. Damn, it's the medieval chain gun guys. This game is not historically accurate. The women had chain guns too. Can I shoot you? Yes. Okay, you guys can't shoot through that. This is nothing. Ow! What? Oh my god. Okay. Christ almighty. <laughs> Okay. Crap. There's nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Alright, let's kill some of these fucking distractions. Oh, okay. As soon as I shoot, everyone shows up. Great. I love it. Okay. Ow. Not okay. What? <sighs> Can you hold still like right there? That would be good. from oh okay well I guess let's do some stuff then uh, let's see if there's some health elsewhere I do not have that kind of key that doesn't work
Dang it. Can I get through this window? Yes! Oh, excellent. Is that it? Why did something just blow up? Can't shoot through that. far so good, except that didn't accomplish anything. How do I open this door? Or any door. Uh, but this is the only place I can go, right? Yeah, I got the yellow key. Nothing in there did anything. Eh, screw it. I'll get the power-ups. Of course. But still no progression. Who is still shooting me? Oh. Okay. This is a map 7, so it, it could use the dead simple trick, but I haven't seen any Mancubi or Arachnotrons. Uh... Yep, and this is exactly where I got stuck before. I guess let's go look around. I don't know how to open that thing. Um, It's that courtyard at the beginning. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, that's cool, but... have to remember those. Um, Freaking jerk. There was something about getting over there. a button. Oh, there's a red key. Don't know what that's for. Bunch of stuff walled off. Wait. Oh. 
That's new, okay. That's why there's two teleporters. That sucks a bit, because there's no reason I'd walk all the way back around, right? But yeah, this, uh... This is familiar. Ow. Nice. Button, nice. Um... Okay. What did that open? Don't worry, folks. We're almost there. Maybe. Did it open a thing here? Oh. Great. It's my best friend. This asshole. Quite tight squeeze. Oh, sure. Okay, so I can't go through it if it's empty. But if there's broken glass, then it's passable. Oh. Why aren't y'all dying? No, I really want <laughs> those shells. Oh, I'll take these shells. Who? Where? Why? How? Okay, now we have a blue key. Um, God, that's only two thirds of the map. All right, cool, good. Pointless. Please have a button. There's no button. What? Hang on. <laughs> oh, come on. I can't believe this. I... Ooh. 
Incredible. Oh, and here comes the Arachnotron trigger. Wow. I did not expect Commander Keen. I don't know if y'all can hear that. But there, there was a, a Keen doll through that teeny tiny switch. And a thing happens when you kill all the Commander Keens in a level. Fucking wild. But that still doesn't get me anywhere. Oh, these are open now. All right, well, let's go for the real big switch first. Hmm. Oops. Why is this a... Okay, whatever. Chunk. What did that do? Oh. What? What? This must just be where I had to stop last time, because I don't recognize this at all. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. Where... There you are. What? This map is wild. Also, I love how Doom Monster AI has no pathing whatsoever. There is no understanding of the level layout. They just walk towards you, and if they get, if they hit something in their attempts to do that, they just sort of bumble around. And it works shockingly well. Like, offensively well. Is this still shut? None of this does anything useful anymore. Don't need that. Um, actually, wait. Do want... These. I think the time has come. Okay. Got all the keys. Nothing can stop me. Is that a cyber demon? Fucking hell. But I hear cyber demon also. But where? There we go. Ow. Cyber Demon always wins. Oh! Guess I helped a bit too much. Okay. Okay, this all connects now. That's nice. I do like um, just the little tucked away bits of modern technology. Like... Okay. See ya.
What did that do? Oh, this is finally open. Okay. Oh, no. Worst possible conditions for that fight. After all that, we finally get through this door into what looks a lot like another arena. Real glad I picked this up. Now what? Ah. What did that do? Is it invisible stairs? It is invisible stairs. Um... Almost done. There's only three monsters left. Is this an exit or it is. I want that mega sphere. And some shells if there's any left. Where the hell did you guys come from? There's still one spider somewhere. Was it? Oh, I guess that would have been useful for the boss fight, but sort of killed each other, so that's fine. Oh! Hey, what's up? Did that... So, killing all the Erectotrons wasn't even necessary. Also, how the fuck do I open this door again? Damn it. Wait, wait, it was, was this? All right, uh, cool. This is further than I've ever gone. Bam, all kills, all items, all secrets that I found. Don't worry about it. Ooh. I love it. I love connecting. That last map I only went like 20 feet. So this is called Woodhead. Okay. Uh, whoops. Oh no. 
I clicked a link and oh and it cleared the chat okay great I just wanted to see I don't even understand what a chat mark or stream marker is can people like see that in playback I don't know whatever let's fucking go wait let's tweet a screenshot first Okay. And I lost. There it is. Let's hit this very ominous button. I just want to punch this guy. Crap. I like using the chain gun because there will never be a moment in my life where I'm like, damn, I really wish I had the chain gun. So I don't feel too bad about wasting its ammo on anything. That's cool. Is this the titular woodhead? Hey, who wants to tell me the difference between titular and eponymous? Um, because one of them means something slightly different from the other. And it's the kind of thing people get obnoxious about. But I forget the difference, so I can't be obnoxious about it, and I need someone to help me. Oh! That is big. Ow. I also need someone to record themselves saying she's over there like they're a monster zombie from hell so that I can uh, fix the voice line in this game. Holy crap! I see we are not fucking around. Is that a cyber demon down there? Now making great use of my uh, my health. Okay, chat says titular is more fun to say, which is objectively true. So maybe that's it. Um, well, I guess I don't have any options except to go through the cyber demon room. But that doesn't quite make sense because if I were pistol starting, I would have nothing. Would I just be expected to make a run for it? Oh. Okay, well he's just down there now. Wait, this looks familiar. Maybe I did get further in that last map. I probably just made the stream watch me run around for like 45 minutes and then looked it up.
I also like pathways made out of like kind of the same room repeating. It's very nice. Very aesthetic. Is that a secret door? It is. This is a whole thing, actually. Hey, secret. You guys are not allowed. Oh. Hey, what's up? Ha uh, suckers. Who will win? Probably the Hell Knights. I don't know, revenants are kind of glass cannons. I think their projectiles do a ridiculous thing. Never mind. Where did you come from? The Lost Souls actually have a... a sight noise? I'm not sure they do. Also, this is all still in a secret. I feel like we jumped into mid-game real quick. handy. Uh, just came out of the wall. And now this is accessible. We'll get to that in a little bit, because I'm about to get shot. This fucker. What a pain in the elemental. Wow, I used up all my bullets. This is a cool ground texture. A lot of roots, I guess? Thanks, Cotton. Have a good rest of sleep. I don't even know what time zone you're in, but... Sleeping more before work at 5.30 does not sound like a great time. Please die. I'm gonna forget this here if I don't take it now, so that's fine. Am I gonna be punished for taking it? Nope. And I don't know how to reveal that cyber demon, so... I guess we'll just keep pushing forward. Oh, I love lowering only, like, the outer ring of these. Someone teleported. Yeah. 
Okay. Did I say yet that uh, it feels very much... Oh, that's what I was looking at from the beginning. Cool. Feels very much like we've hit mid-game. Oh my god. Does every map from here on have a spider mastermind? Try a slaughter map sometime. Like, I don't know, the concept has kind of grown on me if it's done well. And uh, I played that one from Hell Revealed for the top 100 of all time thing, which I never actually finished. Whoops. Uh, and that involved a lot of save scumming and was hard. But I don't know, I had a good time. Now, is this thematic or a huge arena? Hard to tell. It's so weird when something just tapers off to a corner like that. Uh, okay. Okay, though, this is definitely, yeah. I have, I have this on most of my screen, obviously. Plus I have OBS on the side, just so I can make sure it's playing something sensible. And um, the embedded preview on the Twitch dashboard, crap. Auto plays now, I guess. So I just have three copies of this game running, all offset by different amounts of time. Oh, it's nice to give me a backpack as a reward for killing this guy. That's that's cool. Backpack is another thing that's just weirdly balanced in Doom. Since once you get it, you have it forever. And it doesn't have that much ammo. I think it just automatically has a small ammo of every type. Okay. So it's like, well, once you get one then you just have massively increased carrying capacity for the rest of the game. Unless you're doing pistol start and then you lose it, so if you get it towards the end of the map, it's useless. Let's see. I like this wood texture. This is a vanilla one, but I like it. Just thought you should know. I got a blue key. Which is down here. Don't teleport behind me, don't teleport behind me. Okay. Whoops.
Okay. Oh, stuff is ha- oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, there's some stuff happening. Oh my god. I do like entire doors being neatly revealed. Like, that's pretty cool. I need this blur sphere to last. Oh, and it's not right now. Okay, well, that sure is a clusterfuck. Oh, I love this tiny arrow. Can I not shoot through that? Ugh. What? What just... What? This is not tall enough to hide behind. Okay. Well, that was a... Not entirely successful. I guess I guess I'll just wait for them to murder each other a little. <coughs> hmm. Hi, Annis. Yes, come here. I'll feed you in a minute when I do this, finish this level. Oh no, baby's also pesting me. Ow, ow. All right, let's uh, let's fucking go. Holy crap! Oh, okay. So that was supposed to happen. That was not clear. Well, Spider Mastermind has already taken quite a beating. And I really do not want you to die or you to still be alive with most of your health. Maybe that'll even them out. It didn't! Oh! It did! Cool. Can I have some shells? I used a lot of them. Uh, oh. Did I leave any shells anywhere? Didn't I leave a soul sphere somewhere or something? Well, I found it. Uh, 
Oh, these are all going to be like spawn pads or something, huh? Yeah. I love it. What a surprise. These guys won. Boy, do I ever need some ammo. One monster left. That could either be great or not. Oh. Okay. Are you gonna teleport in here? <laughs> nope, you're not. Well, no shells. Uh, but that's fine. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you. Cool. Shazam! And now, there will be a brief intermission while I feed the cats. I'm not actually switch- I guess I am switching maps, um, but also this is the only thing I've drawn, so I'll be back in a minute.
Hello. Cats are still eating, but I have nothing to do while I wait for them. Forlorn Fortress. Oh, this is the only secret. Well, that's always lazy. Why would you not put secrets in your Doom map? It is funny though that um, that's a, a thing. Usually, if there's no secrets in a map, they will flag something in the exit room as a secret. But I guess flagging the start room works just as well. Um, this this solves the problem that in vanilla Doom, if there are no secrets in a level, then at the end the the end tally will say you got zero percent secrets, which is not wrong. I guess, but it's um, kind of misleading since there's nothing that tells you where secrets are or when you got them in vanilla. Oh, I remember this. Oh, these just use the texturing? Cool. Or do these open this door? No, I think it's just texturing. I love the scale of this room. Absolutely massive. Whoops. Hi, Annis. Okay, Annis needs second breakfast. Let's go, Annis. Okay, I guess he didn't. He just felt like uh, standing on my desk and looking at me meaningfully. Uh, okay. Let's see here. I don't remember much of anything about this map. Remember it felt intricate? Maybe? Oh, okay. Well, I got a key. What a weird place for a key. I hope it's a secret key. Well, there won't mean the other one with a. Like these feel like they should be secrets because these are. Oh, on the outside, they weren't anything, and also they would blend in really well. I mean, I guess you'd find them eventually. Oh, and you'd have to, because it's the blue door. All right. I guess, I, I guess so far they've been relatively good about um, whenever the map design does something kind of obtuse. Uh, they make sure it's in a small room where you uh, need to go... You need to do the thing to go forward. Ow, crap. <clears throat> I was just looking at this. I can't get to it. So I guess I'll do this door. Hi, baby. That's cool. Get out of the way. I want to... I want to... 
admire this artwork and how much more interesting it is behind bars. I really do love that teleport sound. Anis, Anis, come here, sit in my lap. Ow, oh, okay, or fuck my headphones up. Jesus Christ, cat. My headphone cord is like four inches long, and sometimes Anis jumps off my desk and lands on it, and it just, Luckily, it, it plugs into the actual headphones as well, so that just comes out. But I'm a little worried that he's going to fuck up the headphone jack on my computer. Oh. No. No. Why is all this stuff happening somewhere? so weird the last map was full oh, okay well here's some bigger guys but the last map was just full of like hell knights and just just big guys everywhere and so far this has been kind of back to back to basics Yannis, Yannis, come here Yannis. oh please don't be a huge pest oh. come here just lie with me or, or don't, I guess. Bye. Ow. Aha. How about you? Nope, just this one. I feel like such a dumbass every time I switch to the regular shotgun to kill an imp, and then it doesn't die in one shot, so that was pointless. Oh! This reminds me of Link to the Past on Death Mountain. Uh, there's just a bunch of little doorways leading out onto little ledges and stuff. Ooh. I love the, the fucking cobweb they just put in places. And also this door, which is like rusted shut, it looks like. There's a lot of mad stuff somewhere. Getting backpacks earlier on now. That's cool. Do these doors open or? Makes me want to do some level design, but I can't do Doom Anis, please. Don't knock stuff over. Of course. Can I go in here now? It's not.
Uh, oh. Oh, we started then there. So yeah, we're just circling this big old courtyard. That's cool. Supposed to jump down? Is that the only point of this? Oh, I guess I didn't have access to actually in this courtyard before. Okay, okay. I love this little ladder! It's so charming. It was obvious that there would be a medieval teleporter there that just took me backwards. Hmm. Is there a... Is there a blue key somewhere? Or a blue door, sorry. Oh. Well, that's new. Oh. Okay, hang on. Anis is, uh, is pesting me just a sec. Come on, Anis. Now I'd like to take a moment to remind everyone this stream is sponsored by Bubbly. And by sponsored by, I mean I paid them and they gave me some. So kind of the other way around, I guess. Uh, I'll give you a nice couple minutes. In the meantime, Let's shoot some dudes. Okay, this is the second courtyard. This is a very fancy fortress, I guess. Oh. Okay, you two work out your differences. And look, a sub courtyard. Whoa. Oh, right in the kisser. I do like uh, this very goth kind of bookshelf. 
this little scroll and everything. Well, it's a shame they're all identical, but it's still awesome. Um, okay. I love this. Pretty sure it's just torches and flaming barrels, but I still love it. Uh, over there. Oh, that released a lot of stuff. Whoa, I didn't expect this room to fill with monsters for some reason. I'd love if y'all would squabble, but we're mostly cacodemons, so I don't think that's going to happen. Oh. Where is the spider? Ah. How are you not dead? Okay. <gasps> Ooh! I will never use this. this accomplish? I mean, I got the plasma gun, but does that help me progress? I guess I'll take this. How do we get in here? Where's all this mad stuff? Come on. <laughs> new? Yes, but it's nothing. Nothing different out here. Did get a key. Red? Red key. No, I had that for a while. And the stuff with the edges is yellow, so I very clearly need a yellow key, but... I'm not sure how to get one. Oh, these dudes are very hard to see. Hmm, okay. I'll mull on this while I let Annis out real quick. <laughs>
Hey, Annis. You satisfied? <sighs> hey, baby. Annis, how would you like to purr on the stream? Fine, don't purr in the microphone. Okay. Should be back for good now. Although, don't really know. Oh, that's new. Sure, I will forget it's there. Um, oh, is this required? Okay, I guess if they ever want to get around there, again, medieval castle, they have to use teleporters. Oh yeah, 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 I'd like to do level design, uh, but I can't do Doom because the only Linux Doom editor is currently kind of broken, but only for me, and in a way I have no idea how to fix. So that's great. Uh, and I would do it for my own game, except... Uh, Half the mechanics aren't implemented, which makes that kind of hard. Man, making an entire game from scratch is hard. Like, mostly the assets part. Ooh. I feel like it would be much easier uh, if not for that. They are really consistently not using those big inset things as secrets. And I hate it. Oh! This is very sandy key placement, just in a corner. Okay, now we can go all the way back. Dang it. No, move away so I can shoot you. Let me just, uh, freaking asshole. There we go. Okay. Uh, backwards. Probably down. I still don't know how to get out there. I guess I could look at the map. Oh my goodness, I forgot I had an auto map. A medieval auto map. Uh, I guess I get in there from somewhere else. I don't know. There's so many doors. That's cool. Big old runes. Now, this does look like it's going to become a huge clusterfuck. I can't wait. Okay. 
Yeah, I guess my problem is like even even with all the doom assets, it's it's a little tricky to sort of envision how to put them together into like an interesting sort of layout. Just not a muscle I have flexed a lot. But then if I make my own game, it's like I have not only do I have to do that, but I have to make the assets too, which is very freeing. And that's bad. <laughs> Because now I can do it. Who is shooting me? Now I don't even have like the possibilities constrained. I can just, just absolutely anything. Although constrained by what art I am capable of making. But I don't know. It's been tricky. And due to the medication situation, I haven't really worked on a game of my own much in a while. Oh, that was not super smart. Let's just start hitting buttons. What? That just slid down, but nothing was different. Yeah, okay, well, let's just... Cyan health files are a sign of a good wad. Another good sign is replacing the plasma gun sound, but not too much. Like, changing it completely so it doesn't even sound like a gun. That sucks, but toning it down a bit. It's not bad. Uh, oh. Okay. Plasma is pretty good on arch vials, since it does a lot of hits and they have a low pain chance. that little courtyard. So I go straight ahead, turn around, and it's through here? Oh. The door. Hmm. Oh. Gruesome. Oh crap. Okay. This is clearly a door. And yet... Um...
Are you a switch? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, give me this. Oh. How did you even get up there? And is that a place I want to also get? Cannot. Okay. What am I even doing? <laughs> I have n I pressed a button, but I feel like that just made more monsters. I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish. Oh, I didn't go... And this one. Why is this... Oh, okay, those are invisible walls, and it's using that to selectively teleport stuff. I cannot get in there. Oh, oh! <laughs> Neat. I love how a bunch of stuff just looks in on this. Oh! I didn't expect that to be the end. Well, okay, good enough. Let's see, map 10, already forgot the title. Crimson Tide. And I think I took a cool screenshot somewhere. Alright, 2.31. Oh, this is cool music. It does weird me out a little bit. Oh, uh oh. Ah! Um, when they name levels not after, like, what they are, but just sort of after the mood, I guess. Because, I, I don't know, I guess it's, it's fine. It's just that most of the... Yeah, most maps are named, at least in vanilla, sort of like the place that they're trying to be which sort of sets the tone for what to interpret the map as I guess which I like uh, but then when it's just named like this map is hard sort of thing it's like well I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to be getting out of that then and I know not all maps are meant to be a place but they should be Nah. Uh, that hurts. Time for single shotgun, maybe? 
Ow. Ow. That's not helping. Time for the sniper rifle. I don't know, whatever you think of sniping with a chain gun, I think we can all agree it's fair to do it against chain gunners. Oh, where did all my health and armor go? Just raid this building, I guess. Ow! Fucking hell. this too how far did I get last time I didn't save uh, save the recording so I have no idea and I overwrote my save file so I will never know boy Okay, let's cheat a little bit. Actually, we could just... No! This one. It's just a sort of like interlude, like breather map. I mean, I got shot a lot, but it's also a lot of relatively small monsters. What was that? Is that a secret? Hmm. Ah, oh, surprise. This is a weird map. Whoa. I do like how all the new stuff spawned like over there. What is shooting me?
Hi Pearl, do you need some blanket? No? She says no. She does not need a blanket that has anise in it. Oh. Is this new? Feels new. Yeah, I got a blue key. Oh, I can go up there now. Okay. Can I also do this? You know what I don't see much, or at all, is maps that have more than one of the same key, so that you have like a ch like choice of which way to get it. Maybe there's an easy secret way, but like. A regular hard way or something. I am aware of maps that have done it, but usually... Oh. Um, usually for an effect, like, lock off a key and then make it seem like it's teleported or something. I guess you could do the same thing um, without actually having two keys, just having one key but two ways to get to it, or do it with a switch and no key at all, but I don't know. What? Oh. I haven't seen that before. I kind of want to just knock this one out and see something new. I do like these face doors. Whoa, what? Uh... What happened? I seem to have fallen into an invisible pit. How did... Like, what? I'm not sure if this is a bug in the map, or in... not the map. Chat is besmirching the very idea of an easy secret shortcut. I don't know. I, that's that's a whole thing. Like the trouble with, I guess the trouble with any kind of ooh, fan modding or fan level making. Although the same kind of thing applies to like Mario Maker. Uh, is that you are one of a zillion completely free maps and people are probably only going to play it once so it almost feels like shortcut secrets are not worth the effort because no one's no one's gonna like go back and discover them from learning the map really well or anything Oh, there's a lot of you in here, huh? Can I get this? I can.
Oh, that's the sky through there. Cool. Very difficult to see. Oh. Not see a goddamn thing. Well, that sounds like guys, not cacodemons. Okay. This sure is a room. Uh, hmm. I still haven't even gone through the blue door. Now there's a yellow door. Okay, let's start doing key stuff. What the hell is this floor? Oh, I'm like out of bullets. least favorite place to get shot. Wait, how do I go up the other side? So we've now had three kinds of stained glass, the kind you can shoot to break it, the kind that is invulnerable, I guess also the kind that um, you can't shoot to break, but that breaks some other way, and finally, the kind that you can shoot through because small pieces of it are missing. Uh, wait, oh, is this a... It is a thing. Ah. Oh, right on the altar. That's double points. I love churches in Doom. They're... Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! I do like the more stuff spawns in this room every time I do something. Oh wait, is there? Yes. Excellent. Now, where the hell was the red door? Okay. This map is called Crimson Tide, and it seems to take place in another castle, but it has a lot of churchy imagery. Oh. Oh, wait, this seems familiar. And bad. Ow.
<clears throat> I don't know where I am exactly. This has to be some part of the map I've already been to, but on the outside. Oh, okay, it's outside the room I was just in. But this, I vaguely recall being perilous. Or maybe it was just weird because it's just a, a long hallway. Oh my god. Just a long hallway that just sort of stretches away from the map. Just square hallway with monsters in it. It feels like a hedge maze because of the texture, except it's obviously not that. Okay, what will this do? Spawn a thousand guys. Oh, okay, this is where all those cacodines were outside. Oh, auto map, cool. And a yellow key, and yeah, that was just just kind of a long hallway. I mean, it works, but also, what? Um, let's see. Blue door is back. Wait, wrong way. I love it. A couple khaki demons, and then just a bunch of guys with pistols. I guess it feels pretty castle-y to do that. Like, obviously, these are not medieval shotguns. But they are, like, you know, just kind of guard dudes. And this is the other door. Yep. Just contemplating some liquid, I guess. Uh, any more ammo? No, I'm alright, but I think the exit is approaching. How the hell do I get up this side of this church? Yes, I do not. Yeah, that doesn't connect to anything. Weird. Uh, okay. I thought for sure this would, like, link it. Oh. Crap. Timed door with things behind it.
boy. Can I just, like, skip ahead? What? No, I can only skip back. Uh... Damn it. I'm very sad that I'm about to use all my rockets up. Okay. Now what? Wait. Wait, does this open the opposite door? Then? Okay. That looks a lot like an exit. Uh but I would I would love Oh wait, maybe it's not. No, it's not. What? Oh, this is the start of the next map, though. Well, hang on. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. I need that stuff. I cannot start the next map with uh, this amount of health. I do like they're being pretty good about including a uh, auto map in pretty much every level. Oh, okay. Cool. That's neat, like a completely alternative way in here. Uh, that's all the secrets. There's one monster fucking somewhere. Who cares? And feeling pretty good. Alright, map 11, Dawn of the Dead. Oh, goodness. I think I've done this one, too. Time to tweet. And... And screenshot. Almost 300 monsters. These are getting bigger and bigger. Gotta start running through these faster. Getting shot less. So this room is nothing. What? That's weird. Nothing else in here? Oh. Oh. Okay, well we're getting keys already. That's cool. Incidentally, the, the broken glass and uh, broken rock and basically shoot to open these things.
are that same trick. Ow. Ooh. That same trick of just instantly lowering a floor, which is why there's a kachunk when you do it. There's a button. It's weird that there's a candle here right on the edge of where the light changes. Fucking go. Huh. I don't really need that yet. All right, we are one sixth done. Ow, what? What? That guy just reached out of the wall. Well, I got a super shotgun after all that. I need more shells. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, this looks familiar. And the first BFG of the game. I think. Guess I could have missed one. Okay, I need a blue key. Just... Two super shotguns. Guess they want to make sure you got it. Okay, a quarter done. And since there's a BFG, we know something is gonna get ridiculous. But. Do I do from here? There's gonna be a button somewhere. A secret button, maybe? Uh, that just lowers the lift. Ow. 
What? Dick. Plasma gun too. Okay, a bunch of stuff just appeared. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those maps. Where where things happen. Super shotgun. What would be pretty good is to use one of those secret button textures just on a wall here somewhere. Usually they're sort of like at the end of a hallway, so it's kind of obvious, but boy, they really like that hidden thing in the wall trick. some items which I'm punished for taking I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing I've just been running around just trying to kill stuff I have a red key. Has that been useful yet? This looks like a room I was in before. Oh, is this going to be like the other side of that courtyard? How does this help me? Follow-up question. Does this help me? Okay. Uh, I would love to get up there. Oh, again, I need blue key. I don't even know how to get back up here from this courtyard. And I don't think I went down there. Oh. Hearing some angries. In right about here. Buttons. Oh. Cool. What? Ow. Okay, there's a one time. Oh. 
Oh. Very nice. This is... This feels very sandy to me. I mean, it's a little more polished than a sandy map, but just there's always like 10 different ways I could go. I feel lost a lot, but there's never, like I'm never out of stuff to do. And I just sort of bumble my way through the whole thing. Oh, now would be a good time to get that blue armor, huh? Also be a good time to remember how to get the blue armor. Oh my god, I don't know how anything connects to anything. Oh. Oh no. Huh. Well, I almost did some doom platforming. But then, a bunch of monsters showed up. How did I get there? <laughs> okay, I think it was this way. Uh, stairs. This is familiar. Okay. Maybe I should kill Arachnotron. Excellent. Now, do I go for the Revenant, or can I make a jump to the key? No, I think that tree is in my way. This is nothing. Hmm. Well, let's just... No, that is clearly incorrect. Um... Okay, oh, ooh, ooh. What? How do I open this? I have a red key, no! Is there a pain elemental I have not seen, or are these genuinely just a bunch of loose lost souls? Also, how do I open the red thing? Oh, what? There's just guys everywhere. Okay. Why is there a block here? That wasn't on the other side. No idea. Can I like... What? Oh, man. Wait. Nope, nothing. Remember that stuff I said about how there's always something to do, so I'm never actually lost? I take all that back. Huh. Well, that was new. On the other side? No. Weird. I've 
really need that BFG. Yeah, also on the other side, these opened and became little tiny imp holsters. Or whatever. Um, but that didn't happen here. Supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> that doesn't really help. Which looks like I'm supposed to get to the other side of that. And I don't know how. Good enough. Um, yeah, whatever. Oh, right, this is how to get the blue thing. What? There's a bunch of ammo down there. Why? Nothing indicates that. Except the map, I guess. This is the crappiest secret. <laughs> okay. Well, more than half the monsters are dead. Getting there. Okay. I realized two candles might uh, indicate a thing. Where does this go? Oh, okay. Um, feeling pretty good. Unfortunately, not sure what to do next. Hmm. I need the blue key, which is here. How do I get in there? Ooh, hang on. Uh, 
Is this another... Is this another required secret? Sure does look like it. I am almost out of shells. What? Oh. Shells. Yeah, maybe let's not do that. Oh, these things are blocking. These corpses hanging from the ceiling, like they get in the way. Okay, 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 we got a blue key. Now we can do this. Crap. Oh, that hurt. Okay, I love this switch texture. Like, Jesus Christ. Is this a switch? It is. Hmm. I just like rooms that just unfold when you press buttons. I'm so glad those things came down. All right. Uh, here's the little imp peekaboos. That. Oh, makes stairs on the other side. All right, we're getting somewhere. Blue door. Bunch of stuff teleporting. I do like the fake door, that was pretty good. And then turn it to be a real fake, or a real door. Double fake. Boy, I cannot see a goddamn thing. Okay. Maybe that's the reason they made the imps darker, is just to make them more spookier. No one behind me. No. I love just blue blood splatters. That that's not part of this wad, that's me. I have a little tiny patch that just changes um, blood color for Cacodemons, Hell Knights, and Barons. Oh maybe I should do it for Archvile, give him yellow blood. That sounds cool as hell. Okay, you weren't there before, so seems like progress. See what is up here. Nothing yet. Question mark. Uh, maybe. Uh, is there another blue door somewhere? Oh, I can do this now.
Aha. Ah, now these connect up here. Nice. All right. This mapper loves stuff coming out of the wall. Jesus. I also love switches on the backs of switches. Oh. Cool. Let's see this. Nothing. What's in here? A rocket. Okay. Cool. Okay. Very relaxing. This map has become just. I don't know, everything sort of came together in the end. It's very pleasing. Please stop slowly dodging my rockets. I would like to keep a couple of them this time. Okay, all that, trying to get the yellow fucking key. What does this open? I do not remember. Oh, oh, something through the red door, okay. Um, that was, was that through the blue door? Yes, blue. Sides. Blue. Oh. Oh. I could use some shells. I could use some everything. Red. <laughs> Yellow. Getting there. Ooh. Getting tired of you guys. Crap opening all the time. Okay. Ooh, excellent. BFG progress. I love that exiting the level is not even really what I care about anymore. 
It's just like getting the BFG has become the goal. I also love this huge, just extra pillar appearing that has a button on it. Very good. Okay. I just, I just feel like chainsawing. Jesus, I guess I might want some plasma. Oh. Okay. Ah. Crap. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, did not expect that door to close behind me. Oh boy. Yes. No. Well, now I have a BFG, so where's a bunch of stuff for me to use it on? Okay, sure. Really? Heard someone somewhere. left this is gonna be real real mean huh no the look of this. Oh, I'm just building this room out of nothing. Awesome. Let's save you for last. Getting is about to get good. Whatever. Uh, the side. Hook. What is my final boss? Two cyber demons. Honestly, that feels a little underwhelming. Oh, okay. Well, did get a little 
a little stuck on that barrel. Oh, I'm partially invisible. That's not really... That's that's bad. Let's wait for that to wear off. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, oh. Thank god, I need some shells. Gonna kill him without taking a hit. Maybe. Oh, I didn't. Boy! Okay, Blur Sphere makes this really hard. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Just gonna chill for like. How long does this thing last? A minute? I do like that. Yeah, everything in this map sort of gently connected until it was done. Also, I love that shot. That's very cool. Okay, here we go. Whoops. I ran out of circle to strafe. I'm not great at cyber demons. Hang on. I hate that barrel. It's just right there. Cool. What? More. Oh yeah, I'm in a little trough, but there's no wall behind me, so I won't take splash damage. Okay, well, mostly won't take splash damage. God, I used all my plasma on that. Really? Wait, this isn't even the exit. What was the point? Two things remain alive. Oh. Okay. One thing remains alive, and it's me. Holy Christ! I won. I love this incredibly goofy track <laughs> that is now just on all the intermission text. Alright, none of that is true right now. This is the final map of Eternal One. Oops. And it looks cool as hell so far. I love floating in void. It's my favorite aesthetic.
Ow. What? Hmm. It's a cool texture. I seem to recall that the goal of this one is large, like a big part of it, is just to get in this building. I'll kill you later. It's time for the sniper rocket launcher. You have a yellow button in there. What? Should I be like going in these rooms? Okay, yellow button. Berserk, which I don't need, but actually that sucks for this this start, because everything's very far away and has a gun. Okay, yeah, so I need to raise this bridge. Teasing me with an armor, okay. Uh, wait. I want to be up. Did that do the bridge? No. What did that accomplish? Let's open the door back here, maybe? Ah. Oh. Gotta be quick. Oh. Well, that's nice, but... Not actually helpful. Uh, hmm. Oh. That was very cool looking. Okay, I guess that was not actually uh, a huge puzzle or anything. This is not especially familiar to me. I'm loving all these weird stairs though. Secret button. Skellington. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I. Ah. This is very... there's going to be a lot of stuff in this building, huh? It's all this cramped. Wow, I am full of rockets. 
That is my favorite amount of rockets to have. Max. Um. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's probably a waste. Two dead ends. I found some items, but does this thing have a front door? Oh. The rocket launcher proofing enemy. Okay. <sighs> y'all, y'all done or? Christ. Oh boy. Everyone just kind of filter in here so I can use a bunch of rockets. Oh, speaking of a bunch of rockets. Arch file as well. If this hadn't gotten bad enough. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. Um, what am I supposed to be doing? What? the only one of those or 
Oddly, yes. Well, that seems like a hint or something. Blue key. Let me guess. Red key. Ah. Uh, Oh. Okay. Uh... I feel like I am not yet prepared for this room on account of having no keys. There's not really anywhere else I can go. Oh, huh. thanks. Found some secret shells. Um. Already forty percent done, monster wise. It's got to be a button, something that I'm missing. It's a fake, right? Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> Oh, now I gotta wait for this thing again. Okay. Did not expect platforming. Ah! Okay, that was cute. Like, just the momentum from falling um, forced me to pick up the Berserk. Uh, except, I didn't need it until afterwards. Can I cheat this? Nope. Oh, this is... this sucks a little. If I go real slow... Nice. Give that to me. Oh, 
What is this tall stairs? Jesus Christ! Um, actually, wait, I got the big gun now. Let's do that. Hate these fuckers. Probably not the proudest use of the BFG, but I don't care. count as a yellow switch it's just nothing uh wait is this where it was before yep still no keys so i went and i did a loop and oh there because of this can i can i get across this no. So this is just one big trap and a tease of a key that I cannot have. And a tease of a megasphere I do not know how to get. And a big fucking empty room for some reason. This is weird. What? What was the point of that? Is something like open in here, maybe? Is this room different in any way? Oh. Just want these shells, dude. Still doesn't open. It still needs a blue key. Um. Well, I'm half done with the map with no keys and no progression. Is there? It's got to be a way to raise this back up, right? It looks like stuff over there. Oh, oh. Um. Wait, I know how to get around that. I don't know if this is the intended solution, but. Only one switch effect can uh, apply to the same floor at a time. So if it's already raising, then the instant drop thing uh, will just not happen. Oh, good. Someone tells me that was just the appetizer. And as soon as I grab this, we will discover the main course. Maybe not. Hey, what's up?
please hold still or move in my general direction. Oh, come on. <laughs> we'll waste the rockets. Whatever. Uh, oh. And we're back outside, huh? <laughs> Like this dropping back into the water but in a restricted way so I'm not just running off to the edge of the map. Um, where is... Wait this looks really familiar. Was it here before? Looks like it. Whoops. Whatever, my dudes. Please die. Something interesting must be down here. All right. Crap. I'm not going to have to go back and find all of these yellow switches later. I still don't have any keys. Nothing else in here. Okay. This okay, this is the outside of that room. This is another one of those yellow guys. Ah! Blue key! Oh my god!
I think it might take all of my weapons in the next map, so... Spoiler alert, uh, I'm playing a bit fast and loose with ammo. Oh, I've already used a lot of plasma, huh? Yeah. Yoink! Oh! Oh, nice! That's like the quickest I've ever killed one. And the least painfully. Where does this go? Oh, fuck off. Oh, okay, it was this one. So now it's more killable, I guess? I don't know. Can I go down? No. Where are you? Oh, is this the... Is this just the other side? Okay... What the hell? It took like five rockets. Myself in the face on a corner. Not my finest hour. And you're just up there now. Okay. Cool. That's not. Uh. Ah, fuck ass. Got caught on a corner again. Next. I'm sure that'll come back later. In the meantime... Oh my god, there's still a lot of stuff left to kill. Right. 
Christ! Why is that door so small? It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. I'm sure there's health somewhere. Oh my goodness. Oh uh, no. fucking things. Okay. Or don't. That's fine. This map is a nightmare. What is this? Okay. Seven health. Zero health. Oh. 
Anis, are you falling? Uh. Hey, BB. <laughs> yeah, come on, fuckers. percent done. Oh, look at all these buttons. These are not buttons. These are decor. Is one of them a button? Guess I could look at the map. No. However, Oh. What? Come on. After all this, just give me... Oh, I have to jump from the top. This could be a problem. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do once I get the key. I seem to be. Cool, excellent breakpoint. I guess so. Ugh. Are you are you hoping for a temporary break or a more permanent break? Well, I've been working for twelve hours. Well, I've been well, playing this game off. for six and a half. I think it's time for you to take a break, also. Ah. Uh, all right. We'll call this part one. <laughs> oh my. This is the... I mean, this is part one. This is uh, almost the end of the final map of part one of Eternal Doom. There's so many more? Uh, this is map 12 out of 32, so yes. Oh. But I seem to be at an impasse with this fucking map. So... I guess I will continue this some other time. Possibly not 8 in the morning, but who can say? Well, let's go finish watching a scary show. Oh, that sounds good. Alright, enough spooky game. It's time for spooky TV. Thanks for coming, all five of you. Uh, don't laugh. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> See y'all later. Can you rest